Hey, Andre. I know a question. When's your birthday? Huh? When's your birthday? Um, next year. <laughs> well played, my friend. Well played. Morning YouTube world, what's going down besides my coffee and Craig's horrible taste of music? Hmm. We have an interesting adventure today as the boys frantically get ready so they don't lose iPads today because they've got like three minutes. Hmm. But we are actually headed off to Ochi. We have a generous donation to pick up from our Philly fan friend. Thank you very much. More on that later. But we also have an adventure that the boys don't know about, but I'm going to tell you guys anyway. Minua. What? Una ga uochi. Yeah, for what? Go buy things. What things? What? What? No, no. Better than a coach. I don't even know what a coach is. But we are actually going to go try out uh, a new restaurant that opened oh. up. Oh, yeah. We, me and, and my wife. Oh yeah, and guess what we're having when we get there? It's a Mexican restaurant, dude. We're gonna order a burger. No, dude. Junior, we're gonna expand your global palate, man. Nah, we are going to have something that's not yours. I got this one. Junior, we're gonna have something that's not yours. And I I got this one. Here, we're gonna have something that's not yours. And I got this one. It's too easy. Junior, we're gonna have something that's not Joe's. Food. <laughs> Craig, we're gonna have something that's not Joe's. Dave, while you're brushing your teeth, the bathroom, we're gonna have something that's not Joe's. Oh, sure. Sushi, dude, I've been telling you guys what we're having the whole time. Oh, something we're not sure. No, we're gonna have something that's not Joe's. Not Joe's? Not Joe's. And that's right. We're going for nachos. Nachos, Junior. And it's nachos. Nachos. See what I did there? Junior, we're going for nachos and it's nachos. Nachos. Exactly. Nachos are what? Remember those big pile of chips we got at Margaritaville that had all the stuff on them? Yeah, except we're going to authentic Mexican Jamaican fusion. Remember the name of the place? Margarita V. This one? It's pop, Papi Chulo. Papi Chulo. So we're going to get the boys off to school first and then we're getting out of here. So what time will I come back? Before you get home from school, hopefully. Hey, you ready? Junior, you ready? No! Craig, you look ready. Let's go to school. Cool. Got your fair? It's on the table. So IDs. That's like a nunchuck or whatever they call them. I don't know. Oh. Your taxi drivers. This is getting bad. Your little chauffeur express you got going on here just shows up right when you get here. 
He'll be running. Right, that's my prediction. Mm -hmm. Dave, we'll be back hopefully before you get home. If not, we'll be here as soon as we can. Yes. Bye, Dave. Um, Junior's running. He's coming right now. I'll go yell at him. Bye, Dave. Almost. Look at that sentimental goodbye. Every time I go get Junior. Junior, get in the car. Goodbye. Don't mess up the place. Bye, gentlemen. Bye. We've been practicing the egg flip, man. That's the nice thing about having chickens. You get chickens, you get plenty of eggs, you get plenty of egg flip practice. So, here we go, first try. It's all in the wrist. One, two. Ah! No, but I broke a yoke. Oh well. That's right, we call this the, the open-faced, non-bedazzled egg sandwich. Best part about it, my wife probably doesn't want to eat breakfast with me because you gotta you gotta have the runny yolk. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Over medium, over, yeah. Fantastic. Right, Craig? Who's still not ready for school? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Kids. You know what happens when your wife's like, hey, we gotta get out early because the kids are coming home early from school and you're going all the way to OG? This is what happens, you wanna see? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Working hard to get ready early. Honey, I like your outfit. Yeah, where'd you get that? That's your Panamanian pajamas? Okay, well, ready when you are, dear. Okay. Bye, Craig. I'm sorry, are you asking me a question? Let's try that again. What about the shoe polish? Yes, I could put it down for you, please. Goodbye. Craig, no violence today, okay? Craig, the, the gate's the wrong direction. You're going the wrong way, man. Goodbye, Craig. I, I'm good. I. Oh boy. Craig, I'm not even recording. I'm just holding this up to see how long you're gonna go and miss the bus. Ha! <laughs> miss the bus. That's funny because there's no bus, but that's what the parents used to always threaten us. You're gonna miss the bus, and sometimes we did. Goodbye. Cool. And then they were gone. Pop quiz, you ready? This is always a fun one. Like, I always wonder, like, what's your favorite day of the week, right? Like, some people, the go-getters, it's Monday morning, favorite day of the week, seize the day, and, and tackle the week, and full of goals and ambition. And some people, it's like, I just gotta get to Saturday, and Saturday's great because I don't have to go to work and I can relax and sleep in. You know what my favorite day of the week is around here? It's a school day. Yeah, school days are great. You know why? Listen, hold on carefully. You hear that? Exactly. All right, controversial topic of the morning. Hmm. My wife, who came on here to join me for breakfast and have a lovely peanut butter and jelly sandwich with... Which kind of tea is it today? I don't want to know. Is it your sugary based slimming <laughs> tea? <laughs> yeah, she it's came out and she's tea. like, Man, let me re do a reenactment for you in my version. This is what I... She might have said something different, but this is what I hear. You see that? You see that? You see that stain right there? She looked at me with a grimace on her face. And you're going to wear that when we go out. <laughs> Tell me I'm lying, dear. <laughs> That smile doesn't fool anybody. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. yeah. So at which point in time, like I had to, I had to fight back, you know, not literally, but yeah, it was like, honey, dear, darling, fill in the blank. If I, so you, what you want me to do is you want me to, to go find a really nice piece of clothing to wear. Doll myself up for to the nines. Much Where like Miss PJ's over here, who's doing great, by the way. My PJ and they are. That like, you should wear them. those today. I like them. Yeah. But that's not the point. The point is, is I, I try to get her to understand my perspective, right? If I go out and I have expensive looking clothes on, not only am I being judged for my complexion, and I would obviously, you know, groom myself appropriately too, but then I would have a clothes and people would perceive me to be a certain... Stereotype. Stereotype. Good, no, dear. Yeah, won't. stereotype. Really? Yeah. What will they perceive? What will they think? They know what you want. You know, you're, just, you're just not wearing a stain of shots when we're going to wear today. Sometimes you got to look good to go somewhere. Not all the time we are all old looking clothes you're in have. Old looking clothes? Look at your leg here, fine. I like these shorts. Then why you go get banana skin, fine, they'll be like them. This keeps them authentic. Now that they've been Jamaicanized, they've been christened with the banana stain. But, so my perspective is, if you go out and you're underdressed, right? Like, you draw less attention to yourself. And you blend in more so with your surroundings, especially when you don't look like everybody. And on top of that, I won't be drawing everybody's attention because my wife, who dolls up and perfumes up and spritzes and sprays and one of these, all the attention will be on her, as it should be. Attention is on me, no, but not draw attention to me. Really? Who is drawing attention to me? Do you think when people, when we go through home, oh, <laughs> you think when we go through Highgate, Port Maria, you think everybody's hailing me up like, oh, hey, oh, hey. You know, mm -mm, no, you know who really? they're hailing up? They're not me up now. Really? When? Every time we have to stop and talk to somebody. They're, they're not stopping to talk to me. So I get to be like the trophy husband, just the arm piece that she just carries along with her and as she talks and gallivants, we're going to keep using that word, with her friends. You took mm. a word now. Yeah, I like the word. I'm, I, I'm using it, yeah. You know what's gallivant in it? Yes. When I, well, when I think gallivant, I feel, I feel like Bambi prancing through the, the forest. <laughs> Is that gallivant? <laughs> right, so... We're going to see. Sonia's going to get ready. I'm going to get ready. And now you know why. Like, I don't like to dress up because I like to keep a, a, a low profile. So, one final word? I don't dress up going out. You know what dress up is? Oh, yeah. I just put on regular clothes. I draw wear. Me too. Jump in on jeans. I want to down my business. <laughs> and when she says jump into those jeans, sometimes she literally means it. Mm -mm. Let's find out. We're gonna get ready and I'll show you <laughs> the end result. Here's the before. I'll give you a hint. I look the exact same. Here's you know, we're those before. Shots, of course I am. You know, we're them. Of course. Now I'm gonna wear them. I'm gonna go to Wait, so I can get nachos that aren't gonna be yours, so they're not chos either. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna end the nacho jokes now. All right, we're gonna get ready. True story, man. Yesterday, we were in our office editing a video, and I look in the backyard, and sure enough, there was uh, a dog that came into our premises. And if I had like dramatic music in my video camera, I would have filmed it, but I jumped up, ran out, and then the dog chased the, <laughs> I feel bad, the wild chickens the dog went after and left the yard. <laughs> All was saved, but yeah, the chickens won't be going outside today while we're gone, and not sure how I'm gonna tell them, but might as well get them some food first. All right, ladies, we're not going out today. I know, I know, I can't believe it either. Listen, you guys gotta stay inside for right now, yeah. I know you got plenty of food. Calm down. Cool. Yes. Okay. Okay. No. Don't give me that face. 
Hello. Yeah, I know. We're not going outside right now. You guys got to stay here. We'll come back today and we'll party, I promise. Okay? Okay? Yes. Go eat your food. We'll be back. Good. I think they took that well enough. But besides that, banana plantain update. Yes. Plantains going strong. Plantain for those locally. And this one decided it's time to start shooting too. There you are. Cool. So that's two plantains. A tomato. Hi, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Appreciate you. And yeah, this one. Oh, the national anthem is going. Oh, that's my face. Hi. Cool. How are you guys? Those guys are, are large and in charge, man. Those ones. And don't forget about those ones. One, two, three. Of course, the ones in the front still going strong. Remember Bob? <laughs> They're doing all right, too. Yeah, you. And you. And the cabbage. And the cabbage continues to still almost be ready. Yeah, don't have time this morning for the super hose, so we're just gonna make sure that the carrot seeds are nice and damp. And then we're gonna get out of here. Hopefully. almost forgot. Remember that banana we took down? When I say we, I mean mostly my wife. The other day, got some naysayers saying don't hang the banana in the front. So we're settling a little bit. We're compromising. We hung it in the back. Check it out. There it is. Ready to ripen. Ready to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. A couple hands are missing already. We decided we had to, our friend Richie, taxi guy, helped us get a couple bags of chicken, the TV, a couple bags of chicken, a couple bags of chicken feed, the TV, and so then our update on water and gave us a good rate for that chartered service. So we gave him bananas and some apples, which also need some pickings today too. Ooh, hello. Going up, going up. Going up again. All right, I see you. Let's do this. Careful. Careful. Whew. Ooh, this is gonna be a tough one. Don't drop any white ones. Yo. Yep, that happened. That happened too. Uh, two. I get over there somehow. Hold on. This is what I'm talking about, man. The birds, they're going for them. Oh well, the chickens can enjoy that one. We'll share. The fun part is trying to pick them without making the white ones drop. Yeah, we're gonna take you. You know, you're young, but better me than the birds. Oh yeah. Oh no, I'm running out of hands. Wait for it. Oh, that's not good. They're attached. All right, you stay there. I'll pick you tomorrow. Okay, now to get out of the tree in one piece. Hey, don't try this at home.
We were supposed to leave at 8 o'clock. Honey, what time is it? Eight what the heck? Eight what the heck? That's a good time. That's that's the time I thought it was too. Yeah, it's to nine. But you look great, dude. Your going out outfit. I'll try to. Honestly, really? <laughs> no, really. Yep. That is serious, bodies. Yes, My I'm serious. God, man, turn my go take you off. These shorts were made for walking. No, it's not. It's beach shorts. Beach? Well, maybe we should go to the beach. We're going to Ochi. It's full of staying where you go. They're all going to see me with you. And imagine what they're going to say. Oh, she's with the tourists. You know, see any shorts look like. <coughs> Keep going, yes. <coughs> Anything else you want to add before we <coughs> no. travel together? No. Somebody might be coming back on their own. No, not wrong with that. Okay, we're going now. Yeah. Sonia is not in high gate pace today, man. She's flying like the wind. Woo! But if you've never ridden public transportation in Jamaica, it's 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 a whole little political world. It's really amusing. Like I started in a cross seat, which is just a fancy board with some padding on it that sits between the walkway of the aisles. And it's if you wedge yourself just right, you can actually get a nice little seat because you don't have a back to worry about. And I ended up in the front after some people got off. It wasn't so bad. Sonia started next to me. Or no, you were in the cross seat behind me. And then you ended up in the back. So, uh, so it's always fun. Always an adventure when you ride public. You never know where you're going to end up. Want to weigh in on this one? Uh, yeah, uh, my ride is fantastic. I feel refreshed and ready for Circle K. They might even have some dominoes. Yes, that's where we're headed. <laughs> Dang, no luck on the margar on the mar I'm already on Margaritaville. No, no luck on the Domino's. Apparently they're not even open yet. So we're early, but maybe on the way back. We're still gonna get those nachos, but we gotta head to the bank first. <sighs> Alright, we're in luck. It's a, a quiet non-cruise ship day, so we don't have to worry about cruise ship activities, <laughs> we'll call it that. Somebody's awfully quiet today. I'm gonna enjoy it while I can. 
your head is hurting you. Maybe you shouldn't play the conking game. I never played a conking game. Oh, that's ready. right. It was the boys. They're like, we got a great idea. Let's play a game where we flip a bottle and then conk each other in the forehead or in the top of the head. I don't recommend it, but we're here. We made it. <laughs> cool. Morning. Right, Tuesday morning is the day to go to the bank. We were in and out 15 minutes, no hassle, no problems, except Sonia not knowing how to sign her name properly. Other than that, she seems to, she seems to not remember. Sometimes she has hyphenated last names and sometimes she don't, depending upon the ID she needs. So, we made it though. And now I'm gonna bless her with a taxi rather than to have to walk 3.4 kilometers to the nachos. Honey, it's okay. If me have to walk and I get that nacho or that taco to the cars, it's far walking. Yes, we will find a taxi at a reasonable rate. And the next thing you'll know, it will be there. Right? I'm going to tell people who want to say miserable or whatever. I'm complaining because I'm not walking one hour walk to no food. It's 40 minutes. It's a beautiful sunny day. It's, well, maybe if we didn't dress to impress over here with your three or four layers, you wouldn't be so hot. A nice little t-shirt and some swim shorts. <laughs> Who's laughing now? Who's laughing now? I, I don't want to say I told you so, but... We're going to get some nachos. All right, don't let the trick photography fool you. We took a taxi. Don't let... That's the face of happy taxi right there. Yes, we found it. We took a taxi to get here. Just a short additional walk to make it look like she walked the whole way. Doing great, dear. Here we go. Papi Chulo, we found it. <laughs> oh, look. Fancy, fancy. We made it. All right, time to eat.
Okay, we made it. See kids sitting on our neighbor's veranda. They beat us to it. Anyway, it was a fun trip to Ochi. Weather wasn't so bad. Made it through at the bank. More news on that in just a few minutes, I'm sure. And then we got to try out the, the Mexican place. Now, I will say the Mexican food was actually pretty fantastic. We got the, what did we get? We get some kind of... Taquitos, yeah, we got taquitos. Those were good. Nachos, Nachos were good. Good meat, yeah. Couldn't finish it, brought Hard some for the boys. When they don't like it, that means we get seconds. And someone got it's corn. <laughs> It was, I don't know what the name of it was, but the one unique thing about it was I got a pina colada, Sonia got a daiquiri, mango daiquiri, and on the menu it says 1200 bucks, which in itself is a respectably decent price for a blended beverage at a restaurant, right? But then, getting a, a, the drink, they... they it was if you wanted it with rum, unbeknownst to us, it was an extra $300. So the drinks ended up costing $1,500, almost $10 US. Um, even though on the menu it says $1,200 for the drink, but no information whatsoever about an extra $300 for a splash of rum in there. Either way, it was good. Kind of an interesting tactic, I suppose, with, when it comes to the restaurant. Um, but I enjoyed it, so if you get the chance, try it out. Make sure you add rum to your drink if you want to. It'll be extra. Speaking of extra. Oh, the boys are home. <laughs> Chill. So, gentlemen, we went on an adventure today. Mm -hmm. Junior. If you're not going to pay attention, dude, you might as well just go play, and I won't have to worry about including you. You sure? Yeah. Dave, we good? Cool. Anyway, we went on an adventure date to Ocho Rios to the J... JMMB? Do you know what it stands for? Yes. Bank. To a bank, yes, in Ochi. So, if, do you guys recall uh, a... Um, subscriber commenter of ours Philly fan you guys remember Philly fan yeah. so you remember Philly fan anyway so she and I have been in contact and she has decided that she cares about all of us so much that she wants to provide you guys a little bit of funds for your birthdays. Junior, excuse. So, here's how it is going to work. There are some strict requirements when it comes to the funding. Dave, please sit up. I didn't say stand up, I said sit up, dude. You good? That's sitting up? Close enough. Nice. Anyway, so, unfortunately, some of us have already have our birthday pass already this year. Do you guys know who that might be? Dave. Dave's birthday's already passed. Who else's birthday is already passed? Sonia. <laughs> Sonia's birthday has already passed. Who else's birthday has already passed? Not wow, you don't know when my birthday is. Thanks, Craig. That means you know a lot. I, 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 Morris, you put in my birthday every time you put in the code for your iPad. Wow. What was that? Yes. So three of you guys has already had your birthday pass. There are some funds here graciously sent by our Philly fan that I need to disperse to you accordingly. But there's some rules. Half of the funds has to go into your savings. How do you think she got to be where she is right now? You think she just spent all the money she ever got? Dave? Oh yeah, she's throwing partners and everything. Mm. 
Oh, that is true. Anyway, so Dave, your birthday money is here, but you don't get it until you can figure out the math problem. Here we go. Wait, I'll give you a visual aid. You ready? As I want to come with Auntie Junior. It's not yours, it's Dave. So, Dave, if you are going to be gifted two thousand five hundred dollars. Half of this has to go into your savings, and half of it will go in your hand today. Once you figure out what that amount is, and you, what's that? Fifteen hundred. Is what? Oh. Dave, fifteen hundred dollars is not half of no, two thousand five hundred. All right. We'll go on to Sonia. While you're thinking about it, we'll go on to Sonia. Now, Sonia, Sonia, you have, hold on. Let's see if you guys figure out Sonia's first. It's a little easier. Sonia has $6,000 for her birthday. Guys, if Sonia has to put half of it in her savings, how much does she need to put in her savings? Five thousand. Should I have more number now? Talk. Oh, she said two thousand. Ah. See, I put four. Um, four. No, three. three. You say four. Yes. You say three. You say three. You say three because Craig says three. Yeah. Shocking. Sonia, how much do you need to put in your savings? Mm -hmm. Three thousand. There you go. Thank you, Miss Philippine. <laughs> nice. Now, Dave. This two thousand five hundred dollars. If we can't figure it out, let's just put all of it in your savings, and then we won't have to worry about any spending money. <laughs> two thousand five hundred. Yeah, two five. Yes. So you have two thousand. I might take off five is what I. Yeah, yeah. I take off five is what I told you. Make fifteen is a yano, and next fifteen is so. Yeah, understand. You know. Ah, what two thousand five hundred dollars? How much? That's uh, that's what they need to figure out, dear. And yeah. Sonia, we don't need Sonia's. Fourteen hundred. No, Junior. Uh, Where are we getting this money from? Half. Okay, let's start, guys. Let's start with a thousand. What is half of this? Five. Five. Okay. What is half of this? Five. Five. So how much is that so far? Four. Good. Now, what is half of five hundred? Oh, say that. Oh. Half of five hundred? No. Five. Half. Mm -mm. Half of 500. No, half of five. Five. Half of 500 is so much. If you take half of five, how much? Oh, yes. oh, so Dave, how much do you need to put in your savings? 250. No. 1350. Dave. Dave. 250. 250. No. I'm going to tell you. Here we go again. So if you have 250. So on. So on. I appreciate your efforts on this one. What is half of five? 250. What is, okay, so 250. Half of a thousand. Five. Five. So what's five and 250? 15. 15. 15. 15. No. Philly fan, I hope so you're happy. 750. 750. 750. Okay, now half of a thousand. Half of a thousand. So what's the last five and 750 total? One total. 1450. What is seven and 750 and 500 make? 700. 700 and 5 make how much? 790. I'm walking. Dave, how much do you need to put in your savings? Twelve fifty. Seven minutes later. You're welcome. Dave. Wait, doing something? Thank you, Miss Philippon, for donate the money for our birthday to me and Morais and Sony. Nice. Oh. Cool. Thanks. Oh wait, in a surprise twist, because I have two thousands and a five hundred, Dave has decided to put my my money in in the other ones. How much? No, in bank layer. 
your savings. Fifteen on the dog. So you're gonna put fifteen hundred in your bank, and you're gonna take a thousand. Yeah. Cool. Is that Let's bonding? do it. What do you think? Opinions. Opinions. They're speechless. But while they are digging into the nachos. Okay, while the boys are devouring the nachos, I figure it's only fitting that it's time we update you guys on the bank ledger. It's been a few weeks. We've had some ups and downs and all arounds and roller coaster rides and plane trips and we're back on track with the allowance. So we'll start with the Dave who, you guys know Dave. Dave rhymes with save. I just made that up right now. You're welcome. But you're not impressed? Oh, sorry. They're a little distracted by the nachos. You're welcome. Nobody even, didn't even say thanks for the nachos, by the way. Yeah. Oh, wow. Keep going. <sighs> anyway, back to the ledger. Dave, before the gratuitous, gratuitous, I don't know if that's the right word, gracious 6,500, Dave, I'll, I'm sorry, Dave got an additional 1,500 today that he put into it. I'm not matching that. He knows why. We've talked about it. But as of right now, Dave has eight thousand dollars in his savings account. Dave, how'd you learn to save? Oh, that's the savings dance right there. Okay, okay, oh, 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 maybe that's the nachos. Anyway, and then there's Junior. Ah, junior, you know Junior, always unpredictable. You never know, all or nothing, mostly nothing, most of the time. Junior, unfortunately, is stuck in a rut. That's another rhyme for today. Yeah, Junior stuck on his 1,560. Hasn't lodged any money in a while, but maybe this Sunday he'll get back on track. <laughs> Junior? Oh, he's, he's outside sulking. Okay. And last but not least, the Craig. You know who the Craig reminds me of? Ninja Turtles fans out there. I'm talking early 90s cartoons. I think it was Craig. The crag? He was the little brain thing that was in the belly of the big giant thingy. If you know, you know. Anyway, Craig. <laughs> Craig. <laughs> he is back on track. Took a while to save a bit, but as of last week, he put in 400 out of his savings. And now he has eight. One second. Gentlemen, I'm trying to talk about your savings. Junior, find a table. Anyway, yeah, Craig's back on track. He put in 400. He's got over a thousand. Finally, finally, the most he's ever done. I think he's starting to. <laughs> I got another rhyme. Craig's starting to follow the Dave wave. Oh. Or he just doesn't want to be last. Uh, no, Craig, you've not passed Junior. He has 1,560. You have 1,060. Ooh, math problem. How much more are you behind Junior? Ah, uh, we don't have time for this. 500, Craig. You're, time, you're behind by 500. Tune in next Tuesday when who knows how much savings they'll have. <laughs> if Dave lodges his full thousand, he will have 10,000 in his account and it'll be eligible to spend. Who knows? Andre! Junior made a mess of the cards. So you just walk on them? Cool. How's life? Good. Good? Hey, Andre, I had a question. When's your birthday? Huh? When's your birthday? Um, next year. <laughs> well played, my friend. Well played. Do you know what date is your birthday? Okay. That's great, Craig. That doesn't help us solve the birthday riddle. Your birthday gone already? No. Yes. Okay, what month is your birthday in? September. September? Yes. Yeah. Do you know what number in September? September. <laughs> what number? September what? September 2. No, September 2. No, September 24. September 24. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay, Philly fan, now you know. <laughs> kind of.
man, it's gonna be the kid's lucky night. Although, they're gonna write half a page instead because I've been pushing my luck hoping to get uh, as much out of the black ink that, was, uh, <laughs> that I could get. And unfortunately, as you can see, black ink is done, man. Colored ink, black ink, they're all gone. So, looks like I'll have to write half a page instead. Oh well. Well, it's time to put the chickens into bed. <laughs> Unfortunately, this episode won't get to end of all of us sailing off into the sunsets. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say Craig and Dave had a bit of a physical altercation. Is that the polite way of putting it? And because of such... Oh, my phone. Why are you so blurry? That's better. Yeah, and because of such, we're <laughs> having to try and get them to understand that there's consequences when you make bad decisions. Like, you don't get to leave the yard. You have to stay inside. <sighs> I don't know. Either way, thanks for watching, guys and gals and all of the above. It's been a very interesting day, and... We ended up with a chicken egg where we didn't expect one. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing there, pal, but it's cool. So hopefully we'll get things resolved and get everything back on track in the near future. And until then, when life gives you chickens, collect their eggs. <laughs>